Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 14th through the 20th. So we're going to see what comes up for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of December 14th through the 20th? That'll be an interesting week. We have a new moon on the 14th. So, what do we have? What do we have for Taurus? Two of Cups? Two of Cups is a partnership. It's a union of some sort. You may be partnering up with somebody. It could be some of you could be falling in love. This is some sort of happy union or happy partnership. Now it doesn't have to be love. Two of Cups is a partnership that is very emotionally fulfilling. Okay? It doesn't have to be with a romantic partnership. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. But this is a perfect match, okay? So this is being in harmony, alright? Um so yeah, looks good. I mean, this is this is a happy partnership, focusing on some sort of union um, this week. So in regards to love, what do we have in regards to love for Taurus? Looks so like we have we have a good conversation going on between two people. There's there's happiness here, so that's great. Oh. Wonderful. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So, what a contradiction. So, this may not be about love. Okay, and it's interesting that I made that a point right from the beginning. It may not be about love. You may, or somebody may be partnering up with somebody else, and that's where the deception lies. There's some sort of, you notice there's three people here. So somebody is, is wearing a false mask. There could be another partner here or somebody is uh, working with somebody else. But the Two of Cups is also um, a union. You know, it could be between uh, friends, okay? Developing a relationship. Developing a relationship with somebody, you know, and it could be making a new friend or... Um, I, I want to say a contract. I don't know why. I just want to say signing a contract, making a. It is shaking hands, making friends. Uh, you know, interesting. You notice, you notice that in the background, somebody. It's like making friends with somebody. You may be making friends with somebody new this week, or your partner is. Okay, so just there's something going on here. There is something going on here. Um, Now, when you get that card with a mask, somebody's not being honest. They're wearing a mask, okay? So whether it's you or somebody else, um, there could be a third-party situation here. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life, Taurus. That is scaring me. I don't know about you, but uh, somebody new is entering your life. Maybe you're wearing a mask. I don't freaking know. Um, somebody's wearing a mask. Someone new is entering your life? <laughs> Archway. New opportunities, pa possibilities, and paths opening up. So there's a new path that is opening up for you. you got a new path that is opening up. A new opportunity. It's going to make you happy. You may have to be honest with yourself. Okay? Because when there's deception here and someone is wearing a false self mask, you know, you may have to be honest with yourself about your happiness. You know? Hmm. What is this deception card? What is this deception card? I'd like to know. King of Pentacles reverse. It's probably you. You are probably unwilling to see something or unwilling to give something a chance or somebody that you're dealing with isn't being practical 
I mean, there could, and then, you know, there could be some disloyalty here. When you get the t King of Pentacles in reverse, there could be some disloyalty, you know, a lack of loyalty. We may have somebody here that is too interested in money, too interested in their job, too interested in everything but a partnership or a relationship, you know, that they're, maybe there's, maybe there's self, there is self-deception here. It could be self-sabotage even. I mean, the King of Pentacles reverse is not being practical, not being realistic, uh, not grounded, uh, very much focused on, um, financial benefit. So there is somebody here that is focused on, you know, the, what they can gain financially more than they are a partnership. Hmm. Interesting. So, let me just focus that down. Oh, this thing is inflating. Um, King of Pentacles reverse. That is... Oh. Money's more important than love. By the looks of things. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. King of Cups reversed. Oh my God. Money is more important than love. Crazy shit. I tell you what. <laughs> emotionally withdrawn somebody is emotionally withdrawn they're not in love they're more interested or they're not looking for a partnership or they're engaging with somebody else somebody is wearing a mask they may be pretending they're in love but they're not Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be you. That's somebody's pretending. It could be you. Either way, there's a new possibility that is opening up. Okay, there is. Interesting. Starts this week. Five of Swords. There could be a fight. There could be a battle. Somebody may be coming to the rescue or something like that. You notice somebody's helping somebody get up on their feet. Get up, get up on their feet. I feel like there's been some sort of battle, some sort of massive fight. Okay. Um, yeah, there's been some sort of battle or something, um, and somebody's being helped to the being helped up. feels like somebody has been in a disastrous situation they have but help is here there's somebody there's somebody new or some somebody's coming to help coming to help pick you up or you're helping pick somebody up it could be could go either way five of swords is a battle somebody has been in some sort of serious battle or some sort of um war zone they may have been with a partner that was deceiving you know nine of pentacles it could be a separation here nine of pentacles is a very independent individual very self-sufficient very hard working uh, going their own way somebody may be, may be becoming independent they may be Maybe they're being, maybe they're, maybe they're choosing to, or they're being forced to. I mean, this is a choice. There could also be independence into a partnership. Somebody may have been living the good life, not looking for anybody, focusing on their business, focusing on their abundance, you know, and now there's somebody new entering your life. Somebody is coming, you know, coming along the way. You're not even looking, you know, if you're single and you're not looking for, oh God, And you're not looking for anybody. Somebody could be coming and, you know, <laughs> I don't know about that. But for the rest of you, um, looks like this person is just laying there waiting for their demise. And here comes somebody to the rescue. But... I mean, if this is for you and you're not you, for some of you, not all of you, some somebody here, whether it's you or somebody that you're focused on, there is somebody here that is not really interested in love. Okay, they're not. They're more interested in their money, their bank account. Uh, uh, I don't know, something like that. 
their abundance, just enjoying their life. They like being single. I mean, this is very independent. If you are in a partnership now, there could be a fight or an argument or a, or a battle or something with an individual that is not interested in a relationship and you could become single. I mean, I'm just saying, if you, this is work related, some of you could be starting your own business. Could this could have to, this could be a work partnership even because this is any kind of partnership. There could be some deception at work. There could be deception with somebody you are partnered up with, and this is a uh, you know there could be a fight or some sort of struggle with this partner, and you decide to go your own way. Some of you may decide to start your own business or something like that. Nine of Pentacles is very capable. It's a capable. It's an individual that is very valuable, very worthy, hardworking, determined, uh, and successful. So we have a this person can be successful by themselves. So somebody may be deciding to to go their own way, um, but there is some sort of help here. So that's interesting. There's help arriving. You may not be looking for it. Knight of Swords. This is your knight in shining armor. Hey. Knight of Swords. Somebody coming in. They are. And then you notice this person is going to be saved as well. Looks like this person is. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. This is your savior. Somebody's going to be saved from a desperate situation. And I'm not sure what the situation is. Okay. Um, here comes somebody. They're they're gonna they're things are gonna happen fast. They are. Somebody's gonna help help. They're come. They're, things are gonna change really, really. Somebody's coming in very, very quickly. This person knows what they want, and it's somebody that is. Uh, this person is. Um, I don't know if this person has been in the military. Could be a soldier. Could have been a soldier. This is somebody that um, is on a mission. So somebody is on a mission, and they're they're. It looks like this person is tied up. There's somebody down there. There's somebody down here coming to save the day. As you see, I, there's somebody down in that hole. There's somebody that is down in a hole. You know, and here comes somebody to save the day. You know? Interesting. Knight of Swords. Wow. Seven of Wands. Tough position. Somebody's in a tough position. This is this is uh, a need to stand your ground. You may be standing your ground. You may be pushing people away. You may be wanting to push people away. You notice it's like you're in a tough position. It's like, get away from me. Get away from me. You know, I mean, that would be my position, but I don't know about the rest of you. So um, you may have many, many, there's a lot of competition here. You may have, there could be multiple. I feel like you, you, you are overwhelmed. I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed by, um, I don't know if you're getting a lot of attention or you're, you're facing a lot of opposition this week or you're being uh, combative. You know, you may be being combative. You may be um, not wanting to budge. It feels like you may not be wanting to budge. It feels like you have many people coming at you from every direction. Um, you're going to probably need, the, I feel like there's protection here or a need to protect yourself or somebody is coming along to protect you. You know, that could be, this could be a protector that is entering somebody that is, is going to, is going to help you. They're going to help you to get out of a desperate situation, whatever that is for you. I feel like you're in a very tough position and you should probably, it feels like I want to say, don't give up. Do not give up your position. Yes, you may feel overwhelmed, but um, somebody is coming to help. 
you're you're going to survive whatever that means you're going to survive you're not gonna this is not gonna stay the way that you thought it was going to be this is not how the story ends you know you're you, there's some sort of deception here and i feel like uh Peace and harmony and unity is coming for you. You may not be looking for it or you may not expect it. You may feel like you're down, like you're in some sort of hole, but you're gonna be you're gonna be rescued from whatever this is. It's like somebody is coming, they're coming to the rescue, however that resonates with you. Um, there is a new opportunity, and you're it feels like You're going to be gaining something because of that nine of pentacles. That is abundance, prosperity. Your hard work is going to pay off. The fact that you have persevered and haven't given up is going to pay off. Okay, don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I don't say that very often. The fool reversed. And then we have the empress on the bottom. Okay, so this is your energy. This is a beautiful uh goddess right the empress is a new life it is, is the beginning of a new life this is um a time of fertility it's a time of growth okay i feel like your unconditional love is about to pay off it's like you're about to be given a new a blessing it's a blessing it's a miracle there's some sort of miracle um it's like the the period of pain and suffering is just about over you're about to get a miracle whatever this miracle is this is this is uh wealth abundance new beginnings this is the birth of a new life but it doesn't come without pain and i see that you're you may be experiencing some pain but it ends beautifully okay it ends with a complete blessing um but that fool card reversed is <sighs> Ignoring advice and having no faith, a need to have faith. You need to have faith. Have faith. I feel like you're trapped in a situation and you're losing faith. Have faith. You're if you are willing to take risks and do things that you haven't done and really stand up for yourself and don't back down, you will be successful. But there's going to be hurdles along the way. But I have to tell you that there is somebody that you are going to partner up with, whether it is work, romance, whatever. This person is coming to the rescue. Okay? But you need to have faith. So this is a week of probably needing to let somebody help you. I feel a very strong energy here, a very strong independent energy. Somebody, I feel like there's somebody here that, that is, is going to be giving you something. Maybe it's money or an inheritance or something like that. Or it could just be tender, loving care. It could be both. The Empress does everything with love and there's a reward that is coming. So I feel like you're about to receive some sort of reward uh, for all your hard work. Um... Now, the Empress has many, many, many options. Everybody wants to help her. She's very, and if you think about it, this is the Empress in the Minor Arcana, so we have a very valuable individual here. This is about love. It's about unconditional love. It is. It's time for a delivery. It's time for you to receive this blessing, whatever it is. Anyhow, Taurus... Um, there is a new path that is opening up. Someone new is entering your life. Could be a, could even be a child. I mean, if you think about the Empress, that's about to give birth. Some of you may be getting pregnant or about to give birth or, 
this could be just the, the literal birth of a new life. This is the beginning. You've been through the labor pains. You've been through the gestational period. It's time. Obviously, it's time. You can tell by the baby bump. You know, it's time for the, it's time. It's time for your, you know, for you to hold that miracle, for you to have that new life. So this is it. But there's going to be some sort of, uh, well, this Five of Swords is a struggle. It is a battle of some sort or a fight that, you know, starts the process, okay? And you may feel down. You may feel betrayed. You may feel, you know, how could this happen? You may be, you may be giving up. You may feel like, you know what? I give up. Nobody's coming to help. Nobody's going to help me. I'm going to die in this position, you know, or I'm going to, it's never going to change. It's about to change. Good luck.